Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. The plan for today is to catch some big fish out of this flooded playground. If you guys are new here, my name is Nathan Speltz and I make fishing videos all over the Midwest, chasing just about anything that wants to bite. If you like content like this, feel free to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss an upload. Today's video, we are at the local playground here that is completely flooded and we're gonna be chasing after just about anything that wants to bite. There's walleye, dogfish, smallmouth, and some very, very big pike. We brought the kayaks with us today because I wanna get in the water and get out there and try to kayak fish this a little bit and also get on top of the playground and see if we can catch a fish somewhere in one of those slides. That's the main goal for today. No matter what, I do want to come back to the shore here and fish this super, super hot shoreline because if you guys have seen the last video, we caught a ton of fish just from shore. No matter what, we're going to be catching some fish. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for some crazy fish catches and let's get started. There's got to be something here. I mean, look at this. This is like some perfect spots for some fish to hide. Go right down the slide. You can make it all the way... Oh my gosh, you drown. Like how, no, how would you get out? You got the slide here. You go all the way down and you'd be all the way down into the water. And it's so deep down there. You'd literally be just, you'd drown. Unless you crawled your way back up the slide. I mean, I gotta say, this is definitely a first for me. I have never fished on a jungle gym before. This is, this feels a little risky, um, but. <laughs> I suppose we're gonna risk it here. Okay, okay. All right, now we're moving to this side of the jungle gym to fish this side, oh boy. All I need to do is catch one fish here. I mean, that is, that'll make my day. It. it has to go all the way down in there. You think everyone's jealous for fishing in the jungle gym? Yeah. I think they are. We can hit all angles. How deep is this right here? It can't be that deep. No, I'd say it's probably. I'd say it's probably three feet. Yeah. I mean, I can see it's gotta be more than three feet if I can see all the way down there. No, nah, I'd say three feet's a good estimate. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not even touching bottom with this whole entire rod. Well, somehow I managed to not catch a fish on top of the playground. Not exactly sure how. I gave it about an hour and didn't have any luck. So now we're going to try someplace a little bit different that I think could 100% hold some fish. This is the campground right here and it is completely flooded. So we're gonna give it a try here. There's a lot of structure for some fish to be. So we're gonna do some casts, give it about another hour here. And then we're gonna move back down there and fish around the playground again. I thought I'd give this a try, do a few casts and see if we can catch anything here. A lot of good structure for a pike to be. I'm still in awe that I fished for an hour on top of the playground and didn't even get a bite. Very sad. I'm gonna have to give it a try again tomorrow. I'm 100% going back to that playground with my kayak and I'm gonna fish on top of it again. But today just wasn't the day for him there. So we're gonna give this spot a try. This is the camp store that is underwater. And I just wanna point out the fact that I, it's so sad. I mean, like this seems all cool and fun because I'm fishing a nice flooded area, but you also gotta look at the fact that this is just so sad. I mean, I've seen a lot of houses today that are underwater and very, very sad. But it is good to see people making the best out of a bad situation. I've seen a lot of people fishing these flooded areas, so you gotta try to make the best out of a bad situation. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Maybe flooded, but that just brings in some fish and hopefully we're gonna get a big one today. We got about four hours to fish, give or take, depending on what time it is right now. Oh, my bad. Well, I think a lure being on the top of that is the least of its problems right now. Let me try to get a nice flick right over there. I'm gonna do a few more casts at this spot here. Could be some structure for a fish. I'm gonna get a nice flick over there. See if there's anything right here. 
I wish I had a trailer hook for this bait. Can't believe I didn't bring any. It would make the hookup ratio a lot better. Possibly something by this tree. I like to try all the structure I can cast at. Because any kind of structure is where these fish are going to be hiding. Well, I really thought this would have some fish too. Today is just not my day, apparently. I'm going to hop up on here. This parking lot is completely flooded. Wow. Nice little parking lot, though. We'll see if there's any pike in the parking lot. Would not mind catching some pike in the parking lot. Yesterday, this was not nearly as deep at all. The water's come up quite a bit today. Yeah, this was not nearly as bad yesterday. The water wasn't up to here. We're looking at maybe another foot of, what is that? Oh, that's a dead bunny. All right, we're gonna keep walking. Yeah, water's definitely up a little bit. We're gonna try some casts here. We're gonna give this spot a try, then we're gonna head back to the main fishing area. I just thought I'd do some casts right up in here. We got some moving water coming in and out. Could be a good spot for some feeding fish. I might have to throw on my waders and get out pretty far. It's definitely a possibility. I did bring them with me. I got some chest waders I might throw on and get out there pretty far. We're gonna reel this cast in and we're gonna go right back down to that playground. Cause clearly, for some odd reason, this side of the campground just doesn't have fish. All right, we're gonna go back down. Oh, is it raining? Rain, rain, go, whoa. oh, free swim baits. No way. A lot of things you can just find on the ground. Rain, rain, oh, another one. Someone's been leaving them behind. Wonder what else I'm gonna find. Oh, there's a few people fishing here, not a whole lot. I'm gonna do some casts right down in here. See if I can hook something. A little pike. Come here, buddy. There you go, first fish. Not a monster, but nice little guy. Hopefully the next one's just a tad bit bigger. Awesome, all right. Absolutely hammered this little chatterbait. Not a bad start to the afternoon. We've been fishing this spot for maybe 20 30 minutes and sure enough we got one hopefully that is the first of many for today the water clarity is super super good over here a lot better than it was down there i'm trying to throw a little bit of a bigger bait and working it a little bit slower so i put on a pretty big paddle tail on the back of this chatter bait so i can just slow roll it just like this and work it as slow as i possibly can and see if that makes any difference Like a little guy again. Yep. All right, come here, buddy. Ah, oh, man, another little guy. You'd think switching up to a little bigger bait would entail a bigger fish, but I'll take it. Looks like a little bigger than that last one. Still not exactly the size I'm after. Cast right up by that swing set. <laughs> And this guy followed it in and ate it. Awesome. We are going to keep fishing here a little bit and then move back down that way. They seem to be right up in this area. I've seen a few fish get caught so far. I think we're going to give it maybe 20 minutes more and call it a day. 
It's been a very, very long day today of a lot of fishing. Wasn't a whole lot of catching, but that's how fishing is. Sometimes you kill it, sometimes you don't. That's just life. We'll give it maybe 20 more minutes and then we're gonna call it. Unless we catch another one in 20 minutes. That was an absolute monster. That was a monster. How did he miss the hook? Holy cow. He's not coming back. Oh my gosh. He hammered it. That thing was 30 plus. Oh my gosh. Right up on shore. Missed the hook. Well, that got the blood flowing a little bit. Can't believe he didn't get the hook. I'm actually really disappointed in that. Missed the hook. Oh, that's a good one. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah all right and here she is look at that look at that beauty right there that is a stud stud pike holy cow all right and See you later. I am so happy. You guys have no idea how happy I am. I missed the big one right at shore. Could have honestly been the same fish. Missed the big one, I missed the big one down there. And finally, I got a big girl to hammer it and stay on. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely unreal. Just unreal. Massive, massive pike. Massive pike in the playground. I mean, how insane is that? Because this is still a playground. It comes all the way through here. There's some sand up in here, and there is some, uh, some frisbee golf stuff. Still part of the playground. Just, I'm in awe. Insane. That's definitely the biggest pike I have on camera. It was 40 and a half inches, and I cannot wait for the comments because I measured it on my rod, and then I measured my rod. Because I didn't want to take too much time to actually go and grab my tape measure and have that fish out of the water for too long. So I measured it on the rod real quick, measure the rod, 40 and a half. You guys can say it was 25 inches, I don't care. All that matters to me is we got a big girl. That is all that matters. They seem to really like it when I'm slow rolling it. I was working it fast, but I didn't want that, so I just slowed down my presentation to reel this thing as slow as possible. Alrighty, we're gonna call our day. We're gonna come back here very, very soon. That is a great fish to end on, I think. I've been here long enough, I am ready to call it a day. My only regret is that that big one wasn't when I was fishing on the playground. I just can't catch them when I'm on the playground and I do not know what it is. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was definitely a fun one to make going down on that playground there and trying to catch some fish. Sucks that we didn't catch any on the playground, but we did have a great day here actually. Just fishing from shore. Sometimes you don't need to get far out there to catch fish. That's all I'm trying to prove. You don't need to go far out to catch fish. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.